All right, everybody. Welcome back to our game of Beyond the Sword Civilization IV Caveman to Cosmos mod. Um, we were just finishing up here. I'd been taking a look at the uh, taking a look at where I wanted research to go next. I think it's going to be in soft hammer percussion. And let's start turn 183, shall we? Get move the timer on to 10,170 BC. Get our ladies building some more footpaths in between our two cities. 28 more turns and they will have them connected. Look like there were some wolves up there. Ah, and it looks like a large crocodile. Now I know I've got several more units too. What are they doing? Healing up. And definitely healing up. Yeah. Alright, so that's what they're doing. They're all healing up. That's good. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have them fortified somewhere and was forgetting about them. Fortified. Looks like wolves. Excellent. Killed a dire wolf. And now we're fighting some kind of bird. Yep, barbarian hawk. Excellent. Hardly took any damage either. Are we in good defensive territory? We are. Plus 75. Excellent. Let's fortify up until healed. Now. Our right. survival odds are 100%. Even crossing. This must be one of those free, um, free initial victories that you get. We have subdued a large crocodile. Awesome. It's gone to Narlograd. Very good. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. An elephant. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Okay. Like I said, we've got natural pigments coming up. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, go in here. big picture there we are hoping it wasn't locking up on me and let's get soft hammer percussion up next that way my beakers will just flow over I'm sure there'll be some overflow and it'll flow right on over into the next uh, technology there Leopards or cats or something. Killed a jaguar. I had a lot of dates, but I decided to stay home and dye my eyebrows. Andy Warhol. Okay. So there's our natural pigments. That's going to allow us to build a clay pit, get another hammer bring, coming into our cities. And will lead to petroglyphs, um, which we really can't... Well, Neanderthal caves is culture. All right, cave paintings. All right, tattoos leads to adhesives. Looks like we will find dye, common clay, and sand. All right. Now, what do we got? We've got an elephant there. Our troops are in good shape. We've got a 99.6% chance of taking down that elephant. So why don't we give it a go? Whew. I say the random number generator had better be a heck of a lot better than that. All right, what can we do with a crocodile? With the myth of the sea, we could build the myth of the crocodile. Wonder what we gotta do to get the myth of the sea. If we move it over to our capital, we can make the myth of reptiles. We could have an animal versus man fight spectacular. Don't think I want to go that way quite yet. But all right. 
right, let's move it over. I don't have the myth of the sea. I don't know what I need for the myth of the sea. So we'll move it on over here and we'll get the myth of the reptiles going. Alright, so y'all have finished healing up. Now travel down this way. Now I need to check just what has that guy got around him. Neanderthals and a bear. But you are a bit of a bad mofo. And nothing going on here. Yep, see what I mean? We had a big layover, carryover from the last uh, the last technology that came through. I really like that part of this of the mod. I don't know whether it's part of C to C or whether it's something brought in from one of the other mods that it kind of has assumed into itself. But I really love the hammer and technology Leo carry over there. Quite nice. Looks like we got another border here. In the Indian border. Okay, scout. We can't attack Neanderthals. Let's just continue moving on along. You're in good territory. You need to fortify as well. As our crocodile slowly makes his way across land. Look at there. We are going to need that grain pit in Narlograd very soon storage pit. How long does it take to grow on? Seven turns, eight turns. We will get it in just in time at this rate to secure 10% of our food after Narlograd grows. Now we're going to fight him. We have subdued a desert tortoise. Now that's what I'm talking about, boys. We need to subdue some more. Ah, <sighs> minus 14 beakers towards soft hammer production. Nice. Had a setback in our production. Basically, it looks like that are just about erased. Um, what we had gotten moving forward. Concerned here, yeah, because of that sort of situation. Let's come down here and look at this city right quick. That's Delhi. A stone thrower, two wanderers, and a clubman. Just out of curiosity, yeah, no way in the devil we could take that town. All right, I think you were up next, were you not? Let's continue moving this way. We got a tortoise. Let's get a myth of the reptiles. And I think that's really it. Well, you know what I'm going to do? You. I'm going to move the tortoise over there and build the myth of reptiles with it instead of the crocodile since the crocodile can build something else I'm glad I got you just in time there alright continue exploring have lots of fruit. Apples, I believe figs, and I need something in Narlo City after that stone tool maker is built. Do I have anything up? No I don't, but what I will do is we will put the clay pit in line next. And I want to go to Narlograd and go ahead and build the 
storage pit. Get it in the queue next so I don't forget it whenever it goes over. Alright, next turn. about to fight something there for a moment. You've constructed a stone tool maker. Work on the clay pit has started. What are we finding here? That's the Persians. Okay. You... Hmm, you could build a master hunter. Myth of the Reptile, which I'm bringing the other guy up for. And then this guy could make a master hunter over here, too. That's tempting. All right, I'm going to have to think about that one for a while. Let's just let you heal up in the meantime. a gazelle. Yay! And I think we can actually use the gazelle to build a master hunter. So that works out well. What do we got here? The city-state of Persia. Can I take you out? No, because I'm a scout. No wonder he walked up to me as if, as if it was nothing. Walking up to me like you were something bad. Myth of the Antelope requires palace. Alright, let's get you over there too. Fifteen turns to Norlograd grows. I can't believe Norlograd has been doing so much better than my main city has. I guess just because of the, I don't know, the territory, circumstances, happier people. Whatever. Hm. Got a funny little glow. I thought maybe it's trying to tell me it needed a promotion or something. Alright, my trackers have healed up. Now then, you can build the Myth of Reptile. We will go ahead and do that. It will take one turn and it will give us an act an additional 1.1 beaker until we get literature. I do like these little bonuses like that. They give you the extra science bonuses, the extra construction bonuses. All these things are so nice. And how authentic it is toward uh, the way life was, who knows? Who cares? Uh, you boys are going to go down that way. What do you want to do? Let's keep you moving over this way and start investigating that dark spot. Yes, I have been told that I need to create some spy units. That they're very good at going out and hunting stuff. Um, I am planning on doing that. It's just that for no other reason the fact that I also want to see what crime does in this game. And once you could build that bandit's hideout, they're looking at crime starting out. Just at the moment, got so many other things I want to build, you know? 
It's always the choice with civilization. What do you spend your time with? Time is such a precious resource in this game, just like it is in real life. Kill the bar. Alright, we got <laughs> the wild pheasant. And some Neanderthals. And we are at 75%. Okay, we got some stone over here. Let us go ahead and fortify. Two stone throwers. Hmm. Can you build the Master Hunter? How come you can't build a Master Hunter? All you can build is the Myth of the Antelope. I would have swore you could do that. Let me take a look at what can build a Master Hunter. Go out to the Civilopedia, and I will be back in just a moment. I am back and telling you quite truthfully, the uh, subdued gazelle here is about the only thing that can't build a master hunter. So, let's go ahead and use him to build the myth of the antelope. And that'll give us another 1.1 science. Okay, next up. Hmm. Let me take a look into town and see where exactly I'm planning on going. Do I need a master hunter or not? And I will be right back. Alright, going out taking a look at the Cyclopedia, the master hunter. We need it for training the trackers, the hunters, the rangers. Um, never going to get Aragorn without one. The Myth of the Sea, don't know how long it might be until I get that. This is definitely more useful right now. Any recon units I build will get plus one experience. Hunters will get plus four experience. So, yes, we're going to go ahead and burn him to build a Master Hunter here to go with the one we got in Narlograd. Next turn, we will get Soft Hammer Percussion. Defensive location. He's got a strength of two. Where should he be? I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. Clay pit in two, stone tool maker in one. We've already got something lined up there. We got soft hammer percussion coming up in one. All right. I'm going to take a quick look through the towns. Quick look at my strategy. Alright, you can see here I wanted Soft Hammer Percussion. That's going to give us uh, one science with a stone tool maker, an extra beaker. But this is what leads to it leads to chopping, piercing, and scraping, all of which give us an extra beaker. So I like that. However, first I'm going to go canine domestication. I want to get those dog units. Dogs can help detect those high tech units, so I can check and see if he's got any bandits or anything. Those herds will appear, and we'll also see cow. So that will be next up on the list. And that's what we'll go into next. All right. You see, we're starting a storage pit in Arlograd. The finest workers in stone are not copper or steel tools, but the gentle touches of air and water working at their leisure with a liberal allowance of time. I like that. And of course we've seen the Albert Einstein quote before. Alright, so the Arx didn't attack us. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll continue up this way. Cobra. Not necessarily a commander, but a cobra. Okay, let's 
be careful about the desert up there. We do still have a bunch of desert tiles that we don't want to be running into. And we're going into canine domestication, and there's the wife. I've got to take that one, and then I'll be back.